Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm gonna be sharing my night routine as a mom of three kids. I have a six-year-old, a three-year-old, and an almost one-year-old. So this night routine is a solo night routine because it is during the week, the school week for my daughter, and then also the work week for my boyfriend. Because of the shift that he works, um, he works nights, so he sleeps a majority of the day and then goes in to work not long after he wakes up I do this routine solo Monday through Friday I consider my nighttime routine to start around the time that I pick my oldest daughter up from school this is also when it gets to be the most chaotic like 4 p.m. to I don't know 9 p.m. is just so chaotic and so busy I feel like I don't ever sit down during those hours we got home from picking her up from school. We were looking at the gingerbread house that I actually made with her a week prior. I was able to come to the school and help her do that. And then I was just getting them a snack, something that was quick and easy because they did have swim lessons to stay and we didn't really have a whole lot of time. So I just cut up some apples and I just made them this mac and cheese in a cup. <laughs> I needed a little pick-me-up I normally do during this time of the day which is around like 4 slash 5 p.m. I actually am no longer drinking caffeine in my coffee because it just really negatively affects me recently caffeine has been really really bothering me it's been giving me a lot of horrible side effects so I've switched to the decaf pods and it's been so much better I really only drink coffee because of the taste I don't really drink it for the caffeine aspect So just drinking this hot, sweet drink is a nice pick-me-up to get me going for the rest of the day. So while the girls were having their snack, I went ahead and I got their stuff ready for swim. So I just grabbed their bathing suits and some towels and I made sure that I had everything in the diaper bag that I may need while we are out. I was just making sure I had everything, so I made sure I had the stroller. This is super key, very important for when I'm going out with all three girls. I will never leave without my stroller and or baby carrier. That's very important. I realized I had no gas in my car and we were already running late. I feel like this always happens to me. It's always when I'm running late that I need to stop and get gas. But yeah, we just stopped there. And then we got to their lessons. I try to do as many maintenance lessons as I can for the girls to keep up with their skills that they originally learned from their six week ISR lesson that they did with my sister last summer. I highly recommend looking into ISR if you are a parent, especially if you have a pull upon if a family member does, or even if they don't. Freak accidents happen all the time and I have heard the worst horror stories when it comes to children drowning. Drowning is actually the leading cause of unintentional injury related death for children ages one to four, which should really scare you. So I just really want you to think about it. If your child fell into the water, would they know what to do? Would they have these skills to potentially save their life? These life-saving skills. It's really something that every parent should think about. When we got home, Finally could sit down and relax. I was feeding Isla, she was very hungry. Grayson wasn't feeling well, she had a headache, so I was just kind of rubbing her head and spending some time with her. I hadn't really gotten to spend any time with her yet this day. And then after this, we just kind of hung out, played. I played with the girls, they made a nice big mess. We just did whatever the heck we wanted for like a good hour and then cleaned it all up. I can never leave a mess in my house. People always ask me how I keep my house so clean, especially with kids, and I just, I pick up. I don't really let messes accumulate. I pick up as I go. If somebody makes a mess, I pick it up. I teach my kids. If they make a mess, we pick it up. We put it back in the spot that it goes in. If everything has a spot that it goes in, then there will never be a mess. That's just the method to how I keep my house clean. And then on to the topic of laundry, how to stay on top of laundry. I struggled with this for a really long time and I could not figure out how the heck to stay on top of it. And I finally just started doing pretty much one load a day. So I just take on one load. I wash it and I fold it in the same day and I never get overwhelmed with laundry and I never just give up and leave it there in a pile. I always will do it that day. And I've been doing this method for 
several months now and it works. I have not been behind on laundry ever since I started doing it, so it works for me. I guess you just have to find a method that works, but this one's been working pretty darn good. And then it was about time for Isla to take her last nap of the day. She takes short little cat naps. She takes like 30, 45 minute naps. So she always takes one like, I don't know, two, two and a half hours before bed. This is the struggle of being home alone with the kids is that it's really hard to do things like get your baby down for a nap because they come into the room and they don't want to get out. Graceland did not feel well, like I said, which was fine that she was laying there, but Hazel was jumping on the bed. So it was really hard for me this night to get Isla down for a nap, if you could imagine. My poor Graceland, she actually ended up falling asleep in my bed. That's just how sick she felt. She actually ended up just getting sick this night and then Isla went to bed. So this was the perfect opportunity for me to start dinner For dinner, we went with something simple and classic, which was spaghetti, Texas toast, and some green beans. Very quick and easy for me to make. I just try to aim for quick and easy and simple and stuff that I know that the girls will eat, especially when it's just me on the weekdays. I just want it to be as easy as possible. So I got that all cooked up and ready to go. Isla woke up when I was cooking. We ate dinner. And then after dinner, I did my nightly cleanup. And while I'm cleaning, I normally take like 30 minutes to an hour to clean depending on just what I'm doing, but I will always do what I just showed every single night. The girls are normally doing whatever they want. We like to call it free time. They get to pick whatever the heck they want to do before it is bedtime. So they were just coloring right here and Isla was watching Miss Rachel and playing in the living room where I could see her. It's really nice because when I wash the dishes, I can see right into the living room. I love that about our house. It's very convenient for <laughs> keeping an eye on kids. Then I go ahead and get the bath slash shower ready for the girls. So I was just putting some bubble bath in there. I really like this one. It's dye and fragrance free and the ingredients are actually pretty good. It has a good rating on the EWG app. And then for all the girls, I used the 18 in one Dr. Bronner's. This is the pure castile soap. It's unscented. And then I use the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Conditioner. I love Shea Moisture products, especially their curl line. They works really good for my girls and their curly hair. It really keeps it nice and moisturized and it helps define their curls. So after I got the girls out of the bath, I helped them get dressed and brush their hair, all that good stuff. I went ahead and just put my laundry away. The girls went downstairs to have some free time. The older girls, I love, just crawled around in the room with me while I put the laundry away. So 
So after that, I went ahead and I got Isla ready for bed. She didn't need a bath this night because I gave her one last night. Also, I've been loving the parents' choice diapers. I showed in a vlog that I started using them. I actually think I like them more than Up and Up. They're definitely a lot more softer, and I don't really see a difference in the absorbency in them. So yeah, I like them, and for the price, you definitely can't beat that. Isla was being so cute right here. She was just working on standing up on her own and then she like noticed the camera and was pointing at it. She loves pointing lately. It's the cutest thing. Usually every night before bed, I'll do a quick vacuum, especially in the main area. So this is my Tinoco cordless vacuum. They actually sent this to me and I love it. It has this light on the bottom of it where you can see so much dirt that you normally wouldn't see. Sometimes I like to vacuum in the dark specifically because of this light. It's just so satisfying to see all of the dirt. Everything that's on the floor gets sucked up. Like look at how satisfying that is. Like I mentioned, Graceland was not feeling well. She ended up running a fever. So I went ahead and gave her some medicine and then she was just so exhausted that she easily went to sleep. So I tucked her in for the night. And then also I put Isla and Hazel to bed. Obviously, I brushed their teeth and then we read some books and I just did the normal thing I do. It's very time consuming to put them to bed though. I will not lie. Sometimes it takes me like three hours to get them to bed. It's very exhausting and very time consuming when I'm at home doing it by myself. So by the end of it, I'm usually very exhausted. It's usually very, very late. Sometimes I will not even do my night routine. I'll just straight up like pass out in the middle of holding Isla while trying to get her to go to bed because I'm so exhausted. I have been using the Herbal Essences Honey Conditioner. Shockingly, it rates really good on the EWG app and it's not full of a bunch of crap. And then I also use the Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1, but I like the lavender scent. Sometimes I'll use that on the girls too. It just really depends. I also like the almond scent from them. All of their products are natural essential oils. There's no synthetic fragrances. I just recently started using this Odell, I think it's how you say it, leave-in conditioner. Again, it's rated really well and it works so good. My hair is so soft and silky and it's not so dry and brittle and frizzy. I'm grabbing my tool of products. I use the brightening serum. I use the e.l.f. moisturizer. This is comparable to Tula, but it's definitely not as good, but it'll do right now because it's only $13 versus like $50 for the Tula one. And then I also use the brightening under eye stick from Tula, which I love. I'm obsessed with their products. I use these every single night and every single morning and they just, they work so well and I love them. I love the cooling effect that this stick gives off. I recently switched over from like Crest, just the toxic toothpaste to one for myself and I've really been liking this. I love the taste of it, it's very refreshing. And then I put some chapstick on, Burt's Bees for Life and some spot treatment on the couple pimples that I had. I cracked my back on my back cracking location inside my house which I recently discovered is the top step of my stairs and it really gets my entire spine cracked. I also let it just dangle there and just stretch it out and release all the pressure I've had in it. So that's it for this video. Usually at this point one of my kids wakes up and then I'm stuck there for like another hour trying to put them to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.